In a previous video, we transformed a state variable system by changing the definition of the states, and we also transformed a state variable system to an equivalent transfer function representation. In this video, we derive these results. We first look at the transformation of state variables. The result we used previously is on the left-hand side. Let's quickly recap. Suppose we have a state variable system described by states X and system matrices A, B, C and D and we change the definition of the states to X bar using the transformation matrix P. The transformed state variable system is then described by this A matrix, this B vector, this C vector and the scalar D is unchanged. To derive this result we label the state variable equations as 1 and 2 and the transformation equation as 3. The core idea of this derivation is that we combine these equations to write things in terms of x bar and we then manipulate the equations to get the standard state variable formulation. On to the derivation. We first use equation 3 and substitute p x bar for x in equation 1. On the left hand side we now have to calculate the derivative of p x bar with respect to time t. Since p is a constant matrix this is simply p times x bar dot. On the right hand side we have substituted p x bar for x. We want to only have x bar dot on the left hand side. To get rid of matrix P we left multiply the whole equation with P inverse. P inverse times P is the identity matrix and the identity matrix times x bar dot is simply x bar dot. On the right hand side we have also left multiplied with the inverse of P and we now have the first part of the result. To get the second line of the result, we again use equation 3 and substitute p x bar for x in equation 2. This directly gives the second line of the result. We end this page with a remark. The transformation equation gives us a way to convert a set of new states x bar to a set of old states x. If we rather want to convert the old states x to new states x bar, we can use the same idea we used in the derivation. We take equation 3 and left multiply with the inverse of p. On the left hand side we have p inverse times x. On the right hand side we have p inverse times p times x bar which is the identity matrix times x bar which is simply x bar. We can therefore calculate x bar by multiplying the inverse of the transformation matrix with x. We now derive the transformation from state variable model to the equivalent transfer function description. Let's quickly recap the result we want to derive. Suppose we have a state variable system with states x, input u, output y, and system matrices a, b, c, and d, and all the initial states are equal to zero. The corresponding transfer function from the input u to the output y is given by c times the inverse of matrix SI minus A times vector B plus D, where S is the Laplace variable. The inverse of SI minus A can also be written as the adjoint of SI minus A divided by the determinant of SI minus A. For this derivation, we will take the Laplace transform of vectors. Let's first look at what we mean by this. 
the Laplace transform of a vector of time functions x is defined as the vector of Laplace transforms of the time functions x1 to xn, which can be written as x1 of s to xn of s. This is what we mean when we write the vector x of s. When we take the Laplace transform of the time derivative of vector x, we can use this definition and Laplace transform properties to write s times vector x of s minus the initial state vector x0. The core idea of the derivation is that we apply the Laplace transform properties to the state variable equations, we eliminate the Laplace transform of the states and manipulate things to get the Laplace transform of the output divided by the Laplace transform of the input. Let's get into the details. We start the derivation by applying the Laplace transform to equation 1. On the left hand side we use this property. On the right hand side the Laplace transform of matrix A times vector X is matrix A times the Laplace transform of vector X since A is a constant matrix. The same idea holds for the second term. We now use the fact that the initial states are zero. The identity matrix times vector x of s is simply the vector x of s. And we bring this term to the left hand side. The left hand side has the common factor the vector x of s and we rewrite it as the matrix si minus a times the vector x of s. We want to get rid of the matrix si minus a on the left hand side so we left multiply with the inverse of matrix si minus a. The inverse of a matrix times itself is the identity matrix and when multiplied with vector x of s is simply the vector x of s. And the right hand side becomes this. We label it as equation 3. We now apply the Laplace transform to equation 2 which gives us this line. We then eliminate x of s by substituting equation 3 in here which results in this line. Since the Laplace transform of the input is a scalar signal, we can divide by u of s to get the first part of the result. Since the inverse of any non-singular matrix is the adjoint of the matrix divided by its determinant, we can easily rewrite the inverse of si minus a as the adjoint of si minus a divided by the determinant of si minus a to get the second part of the result. We end this video with the invariance property which ties the transformation of states and the conversion to transfer function together. We simply state the invariance property, refer to the textbook for its proof. Suppose we have a state variable system with states x and system matrices a, b, c and d and we transform the system description to one with states x bar and corresponding system matrices a bar, b bar, c bar and d bar. If we convert both state variable systems to a transfer function description, then both will give the same transfer function description. What does the invariance property tell us? By simply redefining the definitions of the states of a state variable system, we do not change the dynamics of the system because we end up with the same transfer function. Since a transformed state variable system is an equivalent description of the system dynamics, there are multiple different valid state variable descriptions for it.